Even start, but Heading will get to the first hurdle in front. So we're Heading, Brazier, Coso and Whitford. But it's Heading who's going to touch down just in front of Coso at hurdle six. But now the tall striding Coso comes over the top. It'll be Coso, Whitford, Heading in third. Coso, Whitford, Heading, Delahunt, Brazier and Hurdler. Good competition racing there. It was 15.14, 15.14 for the winner. We'll wait for the official time. 15.10 there for Yvette Coso. So she improves on the bronze medal from yesterday. She takes gold here in the Hunt Sprint Hurdles. Out of the blocks, it's pace as she always does. She hits the first one quickly, but now Shaw gets to her shoulder. It's Shaw just in front of pace. It's the Victorian we should be cheering for home, but pace is pushing her line. We're looking at the clock for a 13. 13.78. 13.78. We'll wait for the adjustment. We're looking for 13.73 for a World Youth Qualifier. 13.73 is what we want. I'm sorry to say it's 13.74, we've missed it by 0.01. Reynolds gets a great start like always, but on the outside the Sandrine Athlete Coots also look good. But now it's come down to Reynolds and Olsen as I predicted after we lost Mucci. So it's Reynolds looking terrific, the Australian All Schools champ. She'll take the 90 metre hurdles champ from 2014 at Nolson. 14.31. Nicole Reynolds has certainly stepped up very quickly to the new age group. Very impressive running the four hurdles yesterday. She's now won the double. So Nicole Reynolds takes win the win there. We'll wait for the official time. The best of the starts was Debicki. Now Willis gets up to her. So it's Willis clearing away the Australian champion. Debicki, Bertrand and the Eagle Hurt girl Wilson are going to fight for silver. But it's going to be all Willis. Wait to see the time there, but that looks super quick. If I'm not right, that was like a 12 in front of the time. Willis is the winner. Debicki second. We could have a state record. I can't quite read the clock. Oh, 12.86. Not quite the state record, but impressive running indeed. 12.86. The best of the starters was Mackenzie, but now it's all Holman. You're not going to miss her in those pink socks. Sandra Hammer certainly we liking the long socks today. Being pushed though by Masters on her outside. Holman now Masters. Masters gets to her shoulder, the dip. Holman was leading before the line. Masters through late. Possibly, possibly Holman who had her head in front. Masters did stay a little bit more upright, but it was a big throw. We'll wait for the photo finish. Thirteen eighty nine, Annabelle Holman, Lane Six, Sandringham takes the win. Away evenly, probably the inside. Now it's all Ringwood. Now it's all Shannon Fraser. Fraser from Williamstown, Watman. Watman though, Watman's leading at the last hurdle with that right leg. Fraser's going to go and be Watman, Fraser, Freeney. So in that order, from the inside, it was Megan Watman of Williamstown, Fraser of Ringwood, Freeney of JDS. 13 points.